was many years ago, actually, when it was 2011, when we asked James to, to write a work for us, the first time I'd ever commissioned a work for the 16. I mean, I thought about it for years and years and years and never felt I had the right person to do that. And it was a choral pilgrimage program when we were doing Carver's Obona Yezo, so I asked James to write a, uh, a sort of companion piece, a, a modern take on that. And it was fascinating. We talked on the phone, I remember, before that a, a lot about actually the makeup of the 16 and, um, you know, how we, you know, we have six sopranos, four altos, four tenors, four basses, and, and, tr and getting the ranges right, so not going totally stratospheric for the uh, sopranos, nor going so terribly low for the basses, because I think then we didn't actually really have any low basses in the 16. And the piece James wrote was just amazing because it sounded as if there were incredible low basses and there were incredibly high sopranos, but it was just the way where you wrote it that actually was absolutely amazing for us. And, and without making James blush about this, the one thing about James's music is that the singers coming away and they, they, you know, they feel challenged, but they just say the vocal lines are so singable and they, you know, they're so memorable once we've done the hard work on rehearsing it all. And it, it's quite fascinating, that, and that's why you know, we get so much enjoyment out of the music.